Hi there, it's Violet from Violet Grant Soapery. I'm just doing some boxing up of some of my soaps and um, my beautiful beauty, hair beauty oil. And I just thought I'd show you what I've come up with. Um, I'll start with the hair beauty oil first. This is it here. Uh, gorgeous stuff. I love it. I actually use it on my hair and on my face. It's beautiful for moisturising. But I thought instead of just sitting it on the shelf on its own, I would put it in a box. So what I've done is I've made the box. I've made a template for the box. It's got all the information on it. And um, I've actually got a Cameo 3 cutting machine, so what I've done is I've cut it out on the cutting machine, put perforated lines along here, very light perforated lines, so that I can bend it over and get it ready for my, my beautiful oil. And this is what it looks like ultimately once it's boxed up. Um, you can see I've left the front open so that I can actually show you a picture of the gorgeous beauty oil. And it's lovely, pale pink, um, very pale pink label. And clean on both sides, but on the back I've put the information as far as the ingredients and a warning and my address, um, website and phone number in case anybody needs to get in contact with me. Um, on the inside of, of the box, on the actual label, I've put um, instructions there as well as the amount I have put that on the front of the bottle as well and um, I've put all the ingredients that are in this oil and um, and the warning on the back of that and I've put that it's indulgent hair beauty oil I just noticed that it's leaking I've actually overfilled this one so I'll probably be tidying that up with a new label before I box it up so I'll just wipe that off just so happens that I've got another one here <laughs> So, yeah, I put all the, the name of uh, the Bulgarian rose. I'm going to be doing a night violet one in the future. But I thought I'll get it boxed up today. And so just pop it in its box now. And uh, just go straight in like that. Turn it around, make sure that the label's at the front. And then I'll put the two smaller flaps in here. I always fold in the back flap first. And what I've decided to do, I was using a craft glue, but I've actually decided to use the uh, glue stick because I find it's so much simpler. So all I do is just whack some glue on it. Um, probably going a little bit over the top. I could just tape it down with some sticky tape or, or something, but I don't particularly want people opening up the box and tampering in any way with the product so I've put a sample in the shops that I sell this in and uh, so people can actually um, you know test out the sample so that they don't have to open the box uh, so yeah that's that one but I've also changed my mind I'll, I did a video just recently regarding um, the way that I package my soap and I do have like a little tuxedo on this one under there and um, usually just the the label of the the soap and what the name of the soap <laughs> and uh, my logo and my details on the side and the ingredients etc on the back but I've as much as I love this what I've decided to do is can that and come, I've come up with a different way of um, putting my soaps on shelves in shops. <laughs> and this is the way that I'll be using from here on in, I think. It's a little bit more professional looking. And I did actually talk about my black and white um, vibe. I just prefer it plain and simple so that the product is the thing that is... Um, that shines really so um and because it's gorgeous soap you want to see a little bit more of it than what you can see here if that's sitting on a shelf there's not much that you can see unless you play around with the label um, but this one here gives you a better indication of of just uh, what's inside <laughs> so and it's a box all i do is i make it out of a good strong card and it's a beautiful um matte card i've I actually designed this in um, uh, my program for my Cameo 3, but initially I designed my labels in Canva 
uh, which is an Australian company and uh, design company. So um, this is what my label looks like before I put it on. So I've placed everything appropriately. And um, along here, there's a like a, um, a perforated edge. So I can just fold it over. On, on each of these flaps I can fold over. Just probably going to muck around with me now that I'm on camera. Um, I should have my glasses on, might be more useful. So basically, I'll put my glasses on. Yeah, basically this is, um, this is the template that I've created. And I have actually put this up on my website for sale. Uh, for $2.50 as well. I've made four templates um, for that one price and just in case anyone wants to use this type of um, template to put their their soaps in, I think it's a really funky looking box. Uh, it looks professional and um, again it's just got the simple black and white but I think that's for me that's just what I'm going to roll with. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you that while I'm getting ready to um, <laughs> put my cannabis blossom soap together. And um, yeah, my little grandson wonders whether Granny's smoking pot, but it's not so. Um, it's just the name of the, the actual soap uh, fragrance. And it's just stunning. I love it. It's just, this is the colours that I've chosen. Um, it almost looks like a, a melt and pour in its appearance, but it isn't. It's it's full of luscious ingredients, and I've put all of that on the back of the, the box so that people are beyond any doubt as to what's in their product that they're buying. I'm a palm-free um, product, and um, I don't use palm oil, whether it's been sourced um, appropriately or not. I just decided not to do that, and so I use um, organic um, butters and oils where I can and uh, I'm trying to keep my um, yeah my packaging to a, a paper so that it's recyclable uh, so yeah that's what I'm doing and I thought I would show you what the label what the box actually looks like before I make it before I put it together and glue it but these are the actual boxes that I've put templates I don't know if you can see that without a shadow there there's the two of them. This is the one I'm using. You can see the perforated lines there. The templates on my website in the file share program don't, they have both, but I've taken off the um, perforated lines in case you want to just score it yourself. Um, I'm happy to send the files to anyone who has a cutting machine so you can just use them and cut them but these are the templates that are actually on my website in the file share and uh, they're uh, a larger size I've only just printed these up just as, as an example but they are a larger size um, if you're wanting to use them uh, so this is this is the one I'm using and I've placed placed my logo uh, up into the little semicircle up the top there this one I like but it really didn't suit my logo when I made it I thought no I'm not overly fussed on that one um, and it does look nice I did design it for a lady who has a really interesting kind of logo that fit into that um, that line there and she was quite happy with that um, and the other ones here are just plain they're Instead of having the, the circle at the top like mine does, it just really goes straight across. So when you when you see the soap, you will see a little bit more of it because that edge there will be just plain straight across there. And it has the plain edges along the side, both sides, as well as oops, a little bit of rose fell off. Never mind. And, and the other one has a more curved edge. So instead of getting this straight edge, it'll be slightly curved. So it'll give a little bit of an extra design uh, to it. So yeah, they're the four templates that I've put on my website if you're interested. And um, But yeah, I just thought I'd bring you along and show you how I'm doing my, <laughs> putting my box together. And so all I do is, I, you can see I've scored along the lines here, but what I'll do is I'll glue this one down first 
Now I hope I'm not teaching you to suck eggs because, you know, everyone can glue for heaven's sakes. We can, we're all, you know, not too simple-minded that we don't know how to glue, but I'm just showing you how I do what I do. And so just, I bring it down. It gives you, when you, when you bend up the lines, you've got a really good guide as to where to, to lay the, the box. Let's see, I'm just a bit fingers at the moment. Uh, get under there. Okay, so that's... I'm making it look difficult. It's really not this hard. I'm just trying to see it properly. I've got so much light coming in my window here. Blinded by the light. And so just score it along there. So that's almost almost ready to go. And I usually put the flaps, little flaps on the inside first. Always fold the back flap in uh, first. Uh, it just makes for a neater appearance when you're putting it um, uh, putting the front flap back it'll just make it look nicer in the end so yeah just a bit of glue on there you don't have to use a glue stick you can use craft glue but I just found the glue stick is quite handy and I usually just press it down on the inside just so that that glue holds at the bottom there and there's your soap so yeah let me know what you think it's pretty simple but, um, yeah, I just thought I would um, show you what I do. And this is what I'm going with from now on. I think it's a little bit more professional looking. And, um, yeah, while this looks nice, um, it's not a problem. I think it's you've got the different layers. You've got this layer, you've got that layer. And then I usually wrap my soaps up in a, um, a Logan wrap so that they're protected during travel uh, and the the scents don't intermingle too much so um, with this I may still pop the Logan wrap on that for sending uh, but when they're in the shops this is how they'll be situated and be standing up beautifully like that I'll show you that way see it better so that's what they're going to look like in the shop Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope it's been an interesting small video for you and I'll catch you on the next one.